In a communal kitchen near Santa Cruz, this baker is cooking up a taste of her homeland. It's a dish beloved by South Africans. It was definitely known as Nelson Mandela's favorite dessert. Everyone knew that this was his favorite and he loved it. Malva pudding was virtually unknown in Northern California until Kari Mansfeld came along. Now her desserts have a following in the United States, even though many Americans usually think of pudding as custard. You definitely have to explain. There's British puddings and there's different kinds of puddings and they're very familiar with the idea of bread pudding. So then they're like, oh, okay, it's kind of like a bread pudding. Kari grew up in South Africa and came to the U.S. with her parents and twin sister when she was 11. She moved back to South Africa a decade later and then returned to California as a young wife and mother. She couldn't buy Malva pudding in the U.S., so she started baking her own, trying a variety of recipes from traditional cookbooks until she found the right mixture. Kari says the unique blend of influences within Malva pudding makes it a dessert that's quintessentially South African. The dessert is a very good uh, combination dessert where it's, it's mixing so many different cultures together. Obviously the British came down, so they've got that, that pudding feeling where you've got that steamed pudding idea, but then it's very Afrikaans, it's got the apricot jam and the vinegar, which is in nearly everything in South African cooking. Kari's children, who feature on the dessert's packaging, were instrumental in getting her business up and running. We were stamping, boxing, we had this whole system, and it was a completely family business for the first two years. Now Kari rents out space in a shared kitchen twice a week, where she and her assistants turn out more than a thousand puddings a month. She takes them from the bakery to a cold storage facility, where they're picked up by distributors. Kari's Malva pudding has been used to sweeten the deal as the last course of diplomatic dinners in Washington, D.C. It's also brought a taste of South Africa to dining tables up and down the U.S. West Coast. Like this cafe at Moss Landing in Monterey County, where Kari and her son Philip stop by for a roadside snack and to taste her dessert. Kari's Malva pudding is usually served warm with a small scoop of ice cream. Whipped cream and syrup can sweeten it further for an American palate. And it's a recipe for success. Kari expects to sell some 30,000 Malva puddings this year. Rebecca Bowering, Moss Landing, California.